to wanted to ask you about uh, something that you uh, invented, the shredneck. Yeah, yeah. Uh, do I have one down here? I don't even know if what I have is, what, what, what is what is that? Jeez, uh, I have one. I don't know if I could reach it. Uh, okay. Hold, can I can I disappear for one second? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, hold on. Bring hold it on. if you can. Yeah. Yeah. Let me see if I could if I could grab it. I'm. I was very happy. I happen to have one out. Yeah. This awesome. Is, this, awesome. Awesome. This is actually a, a pretty cool one. I'll show you why. Yeah. Um, Obviously, uh, I, I I had uh, maintained, uh, uh, you know, uh, friends with Zach Wild. Not not like where I could I call him or anything, but him and yeah. I, you know, him and I hung out together during the Aussie audition. He, him and I jammed together in my hotel room and everything. Uh, and he had a lot of respect for me. He even said at a at a, a clinic after he got the Aussie gig that he didn't think he was going to get the Aussie gig because of uh you know because there was this guy named jimmy bell that was so good on guitar he didn't think he was going to get which was really nice of him to say okay. but anyways uh you know when zach comes around and i get to uh chat with him okay uh when when i i partnered up i invented this thing in my car i had uh kind of a wild story uh you know this is my fretboard hand uh okay. i'm left i'm left-handed yeah i i i busted this hand one time i had popped down this knuckle here okay i injured it and i had two finger i had this part of my hand in a half cast okay so they had it they had a cast going around my thumb these yeah. two fingers were set but i only i had these two fingers free so you get to play with two fingers uh, or I, three I, yeah. no two i so i actually still practiced with just two fingers yeah um but uh when the cast came off I wanted to uh, exercise my hand as much as possible. And they had these things, uh, you know, uh, that had springs in them, these things like this. Yeah. But but uh, when I used that, that's not what my, uh, you know, that made my hand really stiff. And I'm going like, well, that's not what my hand feels like after practicing. My hands, my fingers are nice and loose. Yeah. So I said, I want to come up with a, a neck. I want to come up with a something that has strings on it so i could just practice you know move my fingers on strings yeah so um a buddy of mine had made me something and i kept it in my car um and i i would just drive around with it and then one time i was up uh uh visit uh, seeing a, a buddy of mine who's into crazy stuff and he says what is that and i said um i said oh it's something i invented it's just a little you know, I used it to warm up my fingers. So he picks it up and looking at it, he goes, we can manufacture this, you know, because he has all the connections to do this. Uh, next thing I know, he's got this thing uh, all being made in China and all that. I'm getting <laughs> sample of it. I'm going, this is crazy. So I went and talked to, uh, uh, I had talked to Zach uh, at a, um, at a, uh, at an OzFest and he gave me, he told me I can make one for him. And, and have something. So we had a few artists made. So this right here is actually okay. uh, the this was a very first prototype that we had done for Zach. We had done the the black label. Black uh, label of the Shrednik. Okay. Yeah, that, yeah. And uh, but it, it totally has changed since then. But th so yeah. this one's really old. You can see this one I had kept in my car. It's all beat up. And yeah. Uh, yeah. But you can see the the fingerboard and everything. Yeah. So what this is is originally. When I did it, I had it like this, and a lot of people hold it wrong because they assume this is the guitar neck like this, and you're supposed to do this. Yeah. I, I did do it like that, but when I was trying to do it, the weight of this just kept going like this. So I changed it where this is almost like the body of the guitar. So you okay. can see, you can see that the neck is slimmer up here yeah. and gets wider down here, yeah. and then this I have this little arch here. It yeah. sits on your knee. And you go like this with it. Now, the reason you can't, it's not something that you tune uh, and, and you can play. It's like a finger exerciser. Like yeah, I'll, pull, I'll, exercise, pull, yeah. I'll, I'll pull on the strings to keep my calluses strong. Yeah. I'll do all these hammer on things. Uh, you can practice, you know, you could even just take it and, you know, just practice, you know, keeping your calluses, T moving tipping, your finger. Tipping, yeah. And I do all these finger exercises like this. Yeah. Just uh, just to keep my hands strong, and yeah. and I've actually developed certain patterns that I do, 
just yeah. slamming the fingers on these strings. And believe me, it works incredible. Um, I, ha I have one in my car, and every time on the way to a gig, I still use it like that. And yeah, uh, warming up, warming up. Yeah. War it's a warm up thing. Just gets my pull ops yeah. going, and um, yeah, looks like a looks like a violin. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I mean, you could. That's why, and you could adjust the tension of of the string on how you want it. You can have them real loose. Yeah. I, I keep certain strings loose. I like the di you know, it's kind of weird. Like I got the G string, and I'm digging it into my fingertips because uh yeah that helps keep the my calluses strong you know yeah, 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 i i want to keep it as uh you know good i'm practicing hammer-ons or you know what else so of anyways course. um yeah my partner made that a a real thing i mean that would be just a hunk of wood with strings on it sitting in my car still if it wasn't Thank for him you very, so much for the <laughs> explanation man i i haven't got a clue what that is but i read about it yeah. So now, now I know, and I yeah. and now I know that Zach Wild uses one. <laughs> yeah, he's got one. There's a there's a there's a few signature models. Uh, yeah, we we have them in bass and everything. Uh, for Billy Billy Sheehan has a signature model one, and uh, yeah, awesome. it's a yeah. Go to shredneck.com. You'll see a whole line a whole line of stuff. I'll check it out. I'll check it out. 